lesson is all about pressure pressure it is denoted by capital p and is thrust per unit area of contact where thrust is the perpendicular force which is applied to any surface or any object standard unit of the pressure is pascal which is denoted by capital p small a and it is the pressure applied when 1 newton of force is applied on 1 meter square of the area so 1 pascal is 1 newton per meter square now the factors affecting the pressure are the first factor affecting the pressure is that pressure it is directly proportional to the force applied or the thrust that means more thrust or more force is applied it means more pressure if less force or less thrust is applied it is less pressure is exerted the second factor about pressure is that it is inversely proportional to the area of contact inversely proportional means that if the area of contact is more then that means less pressure is exerted if less area of contact that means more pressure is exerted so let us study these two factors with the help of an activity for the activity the material required is that a tub which is filled with the mud or the sand bricks a round shape any round shape object a pen a cap and a scale to level the sand because we have to level it again and again now what we have to study is the factors affecting the pressure the first thing is that we have to level the sand in the tub and now we will take the brick before taking the brick i am using this spherical round object so that i can have the impression in the mud and now i am putting some force by applying some weight on this object i have applied one brick over this so this is the weight of one brick or uh, that means the force applied by only one brick on this object let's mark the level over here the level in the tape round object i have level i have marked the level now what i will be doing i will put the another brick over here yeah let's see first how much deep it has gone it has gone so much deep inside it and you can see the impression over here also now i am putting back on the same impression and now i will increase the force or the thrust over it by putting three bricks over it one brick two brick and now i am putting the third brick over here that means i have increased i have increased the uh, thrust over this round object now i will mark the level over here in the tape now i will be removing it to show that is there any effect of the thrust applied on the object or not see initially when i have and you can see the impression also it has go deepen inside initially the impression was over here it has gone this much deep and now it has gone this uh, this much deep that means it has nearly increased three times as we have increased the thrust or the weight applied or the force applied on it by three times so that means as the thrust increases the pressure it will increase so more thrust and more pressure now i will be taking the second factor that is the area of contact if i am using the small area of uh, the pen over here i am keeping it over here let's keep it like this that is the very small area over here you can see so i am putting it over here and i will be applying the force by putting one brick over it now let's see how much deep this pen it is going into the sand so this much deep it is going so now i will be removing the brick and you can see i will be putting or i will be marking this also this much deep it has gone see we can see that there is a depression over there now i am changing the surface area the surface area of contact i am using this cap i am putting this over here and i am keeping this pen over here right so now i will be putting the same amount of thrust that means only one brick i am keeping it over here and let's see how much depression it will make in the sand so now i am removing this and you can see 
see we can find we can see easily the difference between the two that means the pressure applied on the smaller area of contact it is much much large as compared to the pressure applied on a larger area even area is more the pressure exerted will be very less when the area is very less the pressure exerted will be very high that is why it is not comfortable to move on the wet mud or sand or in the garden with the high heels because the heels they have a very smaller area of contact that is why they will go deep into the sand into the mud or into the garden soil whereas if we will have the flat shoes that is more comfortable because with flat shoes the area of contact is more so pressure applied is very less so this is all about we have learned in this activity thank you for watching